mean, think about it, okay? You've got, what, maybe 12 weeks that you're out of school for the summer, and if you don't do anything, that's kind of what happens. Your brain... That, that noggin's got to yes. stay well-tuned. Yes, but you right. learn all this stuff in school, and then over the summer, we don't want you to lose it. So we've got some friends to help making sure we're doing all the right things. Miss Kate Kraft, she's the site director in Spartanburg for Sylvan Learning Center, and then Allison Haig right here in Greenville. Good Great to have you. Hi there. Well, well, thank you for so having us. To be here. Yeah, you provide thanks. a wonderful service. Uh, you helped my thank youngest you. child. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Well, we hope we helped him with the brain drain, because it is a known fact that over the summertime, kids lose about two and a half months worth of learning. Really? That would take them all the way back to March. And that the teachers have to spend the first six weeks of the next year just getting them. Catching exactly. them up. Exactly. Catching them up. Yeah, but along that earwax, you'd right? think that knowledge would stay in there. You it wouldn't would come out. Think <laughs> it, but, but think about yourself. You know, there are oh. things that you've forgotten over time as well, right? Uh, yes, yeah, something yeah. you thought you would never yeah, forget. Exactly. And, like, and, and we're going to play a little game. Well, in a looking little at while. us, can you tell I'm much smarter than she is? <laughs> is it obvious to you? You know, I need you, my just, glasses. you can't tell by looking. We'll test you. So we're going to do a game. Is this what you encourage people to do at home over the summer I, these types of things? We do. Any kind of game. Anything that can keep your kids engaged you in fun. You got to make it fun. Yes. Just like we have camps that are fun for kids. It, they don't even know they're doing math. We just make it all kinds way. of games. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We also have them play with robotics. We have them um, code on computers. So they're learning new skills. So whether it's making traditional learning fun or learning new skills, right. either one is important for the summer. Silver's Just keeps their covered. brain active. All right, right? Kate, let's test I got my see bell. what all. All right. <laughs> all right, mine's mine's higher. So let's You're see right how much lower. you've lost. Oh gosh. We're okay. gonna play. Are you smarter, smarter than, than a fifth, fifth grader? grader. All, right. I'm scared. all right, Kate. Ready. All right, you guys ready? Ready. We all are. right. This is a first grade English question. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How many nouns are in the sentence? A feather is in your cap. Oh. Megan, two. Two is correct. Yay! Very well, good. Still You're still kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one I'm going to get, first grade. It's not like playing yeah. I Don't Know Jack. Yeah, right. Now you see how... See, we uh -huh. play uh, Yeah, that's a good game. Go ahead. Okay. This is a grade two spelling question. Oh, oh I'll count, count. Count. Major You'll and lose. minor are what kind of words? Say it again. Major and minor are what kinds of words? Musical words. Musical words. <laughs> yeah, they just that, is, that is the correct answer. <laughs> but, but, that, but that isn't the answer we were looking for. So you got some choices. Uh, oh, are you ready? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Now you don't get to go. I'm bell happy. I hit it too soon. <laughs> Antonyms, synonyms, homonyms, or onomatopoeia? Say that again. It's not onomatopoeia. Antonyms, synonyms, homonyms, or onomatopoeia? Huh? Homonyms. I have no idea. What the heck is a I had hominy this morning. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hominy grits what is not a hominy. Major and minor. Major and minor. Yeah. Well, so they're two opposite, right? They're so what would that be? Yeah. Oh, the antonyms. Antonyms. That's right. Antonyms, right? You should have said that in relationship. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, now you're blaming her because we're the dummies. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, Next so question. We're not, we're, going well. we're not going to give anybody okay. that one. That All right. A third grade English question. Okay. Which of the following words is an adjective? Run, color, beautiful, or boy? Beautiful. Ooh, I don't know. They rang in beautiful. at the same yeah, time. I, I think that's a tie. Beautiful. Okay, that's a tie. Okay. Oh, oh, they got it right. Now we're we'll gonna get to the harder questions. Oh, good, because he's been so easy okay. so far. What was yeah. the answer? Beautiful. Adjective. Yeah. It was. You got it. It was beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. Got it. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Grade four math. If the radius of a circle is nine inches, what is the diameter? Please. Megan. 4.5. Four, uh, 4. 18. Uh, 18. Yes. Oh, Jack got 18. it. Oh, 18. 18. I thought you meant the circumference. <laughs> right. I could That's be right. right. It's no, two inches. What's the one where you that? divide it in half? That, that's not that's obviously all not the way right. across. So the diameter is all the way across. Uh, okay. And radius is from the center Good. to the now edge. You, now you see We're what learning up. loss is yes. all about, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Because you knew it at one time. I. Oh, at one point. Right. When she says, learning loss, she actually means we're losers. That's <laughs> what she's saying. <laughs> no, I think I can look at the losers. camera and say, I don't know that. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, one more question. Okay. And the All last right. one, it's a fifth grade math question. Uh, oh, great. What is the lowest prime number? I oh, heck Three. if I know. I get the lowest prime number. Prime number. <laughs> I don't know what a prime uh, steak is. <laughs> prime number, it's a two, two. 
It is two. It's very nice good. Job. Nice job. Nice job. Thank that you, ladies and gentlemen. Tough. Don't applaud. Just that throw money. Tough. Throw money oh. at your TV. That's all I need. Yeah. Well, well, why is it a prime number? I don't know. Because it's only divisible by itself and one. Right? I knew that. I yeah. and, a, knew that. and a prime number has to be greater than one. It's it's greater than one. Yeah, if you don't right. do it every day. <laughs> that's right. So, in other words, go. I won, right? In other words, you won. You're smarter <laughs> than a fifth grader and Megan. Thanks. Good job. Thank you. Great job. So, make Thanks. sure that your kids are prepared okay. for first grade or second grade or whatever grade they're going in and make sure they're not scared. Can we come see we you can now do that over the summer? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We're there every day and we're having lots of fun with the kids. And you're in Greenville, you're in Spartanburg. Are there other places? Anderson as well. well. Anderson yep, as well. we're in, in Anderson, and each location has the same types okay. of, of um, activities for but you. But they don't make house calls. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Not on Sundays, for <laughs> sure. Once we do those math questions as well, I'm going to be calling you. What's okay. the prom number? That's